Well, what's going on, everyone? Welcome in to a new series that I'm calling Behind the Ascent. Basically, the opportunity here is to allow me to share some of the things that I experience behind the scenes. Some of my experiences uh, coaching others, where a lot of my ideas and inspiration comes from, from the various topics that we talk about here on the Ascent Podcast and that we share on the various Ascent social media platforms. Really just an opportunity for you to get to know me a little bit better, see what really goes on behind the scenes and understand what it really takes to be able to put together and deliver something like this. Also give you an opportunity to see firsthand and hear some of the stories of the benefits of having someone in your life who's coaching, guiding, mentoring, and leading you in the direction to try to help you achieve your goals. So again, welcome in Behind the Ascent. And for today's topic, I really want to talk about something that uh, I kind of came across in my recent travels and I came across an individual who um, I want to say was just in a very negative place in life. I uh, tried to get a little bit of background as to what was driving it. And really what it was is if they were kind of just frustrated or not feeling fulfilled, I guess it's a better way to say it, with where they were career-wise, uh, which is always a challenge for a lot of us. We do get into those places and those spaces either because maybe the job shifted or changed, or you've been doing it for so long, you no longer have that same drive to perform. The key with that is to uh, take the time to really identify that for yourself. If that's what's really going on and that's the case, that's when we have to essentially break that cycle. And let's get outside of the box, think outside of that space that we've been in and get out of our comfort zone. But the main thing there is, Let's not just do that for the sake of doing it. And that was kind of the advice that I gave this individual. You know, yeah, you want to break that mold and move out. But what is the plan? What is the purpose? What is your objective in doing so? So that's the key component. A lot of what I talk about here on my platform and when I'm coaching and guiding others is really founded in self-awareness first and foremost. So taking that step actually backwards first so you can evaluate and then say, okay, this is really where I want to go, what I want to get to or become or whatever words you want to use to structure that. Now it's time to make the plan and take those action steps to move yourself forward. So that's the key component. I really want to share that because the individual was really about to just blow everything up in their life, thinking that that was going to solve the problem. And my advice to them was in doing that, yes, you may get out of that situation that you're but you might also place yourself into a space where you really feel lost and totally out of control because now you don't have that foundation and that grounding that you used to have when you were in that space. Not to say that you don't want to blow it up, but when you do blow it up, what are your next steps? What is the plan? Where are you trying to get to? Uh, it's just like driving a car and not knowing where you're going. If you just get on the road and no map, no guidance system, just start driving. Who knows where you end up? That's not how we want to live life. And that's not the advice that I like to give here at the Ascent Academy when we talk about coaching and developing and moving you in a positive direction. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you can resonate with this in any way, leave a comment below. If, or if you've had some similar experiences like that in your life, please share. Because within the community, the more we share, the more we give, the more we all gain and learn and grow. So until next time, take care. And as I always say, take care of each other. Thank <music> you.